Bibles and our banners. We're out here today as born again Christians, commanded by the Lord Jesus Christ to go into all the world and to preach the gospel to every creature. Jesus said that those who believe are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God, Jesus Christ. Oh, my friends, we're out here today with good news, the good news of the gospel, that God's not willing that you perish, but that you come to repentance. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In order for the good news to make sense, you must understand the bad news first. The Bible says that it is appointed for man once to die, and then comes the judgment. My friends, when you die, you will give an account of your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. God will judge your life on that day. And the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. My friends, we're out here today to wake you up in hopes that the Holy Ghost would convict you of your sin convict you of the power by the power of his word, and he would show you your desperate need for Jesus Christ. Oh, my friends, you have broken God's holy law, lying, stealing, drunkenness, fornication, idolatry, failing to love God with your life. Oh, my friends, you know that you have broken God's holy law because God has created you with a conscience. Oh, my friends, when you die, you will give an account to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're here to warn you today with the Holy Bible, which declares that the wicked shall be turned into hell along with all nations that forget God. My friends, if you die without a Savior, if you die without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell forever. Oh, my friends, that's a loving warning. That's a loving warning. Jesus preached more about hell than he did heaven. Jesus Christ preached on the absolute horror of hell, that it's a place of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. It goes on forever and ever. My friends, Jesus taught eternal punishment. And that's because the God that you have sinned against is a holy, holy, holy God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the Bible says. Oh, my friends, we're here today to warn you with God's word that the wicked shall be turned into hell along with all nations that forget God. America is a nation that has forgotten God. Any nation that has murdered over 70 million babies is a nation that has forgotten God. 
And you wonder why the Bible declares that God is angry with the wicked every day. Oh, my friends, our prayer today is that God would move by the power of his Holy Ghost and that he would convict you of your sin, convict you of your rebellion against the Holy God, and he would show you your need for Christ and that you would turn to him for the forgiveness of your sin. Oh, my friends, the good news is this, is that God's not willing that you perish, but that you come to repentance. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus came into this world to be an atonement for our sin. The Son of God, the second person of the Trinity, became a man in the person of Jesus Christ. The only way a holy God can save us without compromising his holiness is if somebody pays the penalty in our place. And that's what Jesus did on the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of sin, drank the cup of God's wrath. Oh, he suffered for sinners on the cross for those who would believe. And he died upon the cross and was buried in a tomb. And on the third day he rose from the grave. He rose from the dead and he has appointed a day. He ascended into heaven with great power and great glory. And he has appointed a day in which he will return to judge the world in righteousness. And God commands all men everywhere to repent, to repent and to believe the gospel, because he has fixed a day in which he will return to judge the world in righteousness. And on that day, only those who are in Christ will be saved. But to those who have rejected him, you will get what you deserve. Hell forever in the lake of fire. But my friends, the good news is that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. And Jesus said, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Oh, that God's kindness would lead you to repentance today before it's too late. So we're here to plead with you that if you are outside of Christ, God's wrath abides upon you. Those who have the Son have life, but those who have not the Son have not life, the Bible says. We're here to declare that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus said that I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no man can come to the Father but through me, Jesus said. We're here to plead with you today to repent before it's too late, to turn to Jesus Christ and live, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Oh, Portland, repent before it's too late. Turn to Jesus Christ and live. One last warning from God's holy word is that the wicked shall be turned into hell along with all nations that forget God. Oh, flee from the wrath of God and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ before it's too late. Yeah, I heard it. As to have impregnated yeah. him. Got it? Yeah. Because they yeah. got him drunk, not on his own volition. Yeah. And that's okay. Uh, well, was then Lot a righteous man worthy of being the only one saved out of the city? Or was he indeed not righteous, but God saved him?
Check, check. 